Okay class, today we are learning about AI, which is artificial intelligence. Miss Akabana, may I go to the bathroom? Of course you can, but hurry back, we are going to learn about major goals, which are artificial general intelligence, planning, computer vision, general game playing, knowledge reasoning, machine learning, natural language processing, robotics, and AI safety. It might take two school days to finish this topic. Now, on the smart board, you can see a silver didrachma from Crete depicting Talos, an ancient mythical automaton with artificial intelligence. I hope the chubby chickens don't see what I am doing. Oddy audio. Oh god. I shouldn't have eaten leftover New York-style pizza from Pizza Hut for breakfast. Oh, spinach. <laughs> okay, the coast is clear. Now to pull and hit my vocal cords to sound like Dr. Stella Mamaboshi, formerly known as Miss Madsen. Oddy audio. Ouch. Pulling and hitting my vocal cords hurt as hell. Hope the banana splits don't see me doing it. Now let's enter the intercom code on the phone and get on with this. Oddy oddy o. Oh. Students and staff, please, please pardon this unexpected, unexpected interruption. This, this announcement is to inform all staff and students of the East Stratford Academy that we are having a severe emergency code. Plan lockdown. A man in a hockey mask was seen walking by pass in neighboring North Stratford Madden Academy and by our school with an AK, 47, and a Swiss Army knife. I see him through the window near the bus loop. Oh heavens. He's, He's coming towards, towards the 1,000 feet long sidewalk between the two campuses. Students, quickly go out of your desks and teachers, lock the doors, close your curtains, and shut off the lights and electronics that may or may not be visible in the dark. Students, if you have phones on hand, do not call, only text. Stay absolutely quiet like it was a curfew from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. The police, sheriff, FBI, SWAT, military, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Army, Coast Guard, Line Guard, Paw Patrol, Super Z, and others will be here sooner or later. Oh my god. He's on the East Stratford Academy premises, and will soon be on the North Stratford Grand Academy premises, if the suspect is not apprehended soon enough. All people to the facility. What the hell? He's in the office. It is now increased to a code measure. Panic. 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 Body audio. That was so funny that those chubby chickens won't notice. What have I done? The whole school except for the neighboring school and the entire family. I got to run. Run, run, run. What in the name of freaking God is going on? Apparently, Dr. Momoboshi told us to remain quiet as if it were lights out of camp. Orange box with the top hat! I know your chicken chickens are not here with you this time, but what are you doing out here while there is a serial killer in the office? Get into my classroom right now and fast! I'm terribly sorry, but all the desks are taken, even the banana splits couldn't stand a chance. But on the other hand, you can hide behind the huge locker! Woof! Hello, I am Sheriff Labrador that was called recently. Dobie, Officer Papillon, and I am here to inform each and every one of you that it was not Dr. Stella Moboshi, formerly known as Mrs. Madison, and as many of you know, on the intercom, it was absolutely, and I mean absolutely, a false alarm. But open your voices, please! This lockdown is not over because we are looking through the CCTV security camera files to see who did it. All occupants of this facility please stay in your positions and not make any unnecessary noise at all as Adobe, Officer Papillon, and other authorized personnel including myself go from room to room to find the person who usually causes trouble in Astoria, but we have no clue on where we could be at this time. While doing so, everyone else should stay by for further instructions. Woof! Come with me this instant.
Do you know why I called you in here? Oh, wait, never mind. Our CCTV security cameras caught you coming into my office and telling everyone there was a mass murderer on campus next to North Dravenberg Magnet Academy 1,000 feet away from our own. Do you know that terrorized the whole school? I believe the neighboring campus is extremely lucky that they were on soft lockdown for that terroristic reason. I saw some kids in their classrooms freaking out with Baby Bus Super Rescue Team members Kiki and Mayumi Panda putting oxygen, masks on their faces left to right and putting them on spinal boards one by one. That does it. You are suspended until Miss Cody, our bus driver, leaves the East Dravenberg Academy and North Dravenberg Magnet Academy community. And I am calling Angela to pick you up in her convertible. And the reason why she's doing that because your actual parents are out at work. So that's why Angela from Tesla High School is being called. Hello? Is this Angela Simon? Okay, Dr. Leo, who normally causes trouble with his chubby chickens in Storia, made a fake lockdown that made the school into a panic forcing the other campus 1,000 feet away to go onto a soft lockdown in the process. That orange fox with the purple top hat is suspended until our backup bus driver leaves us for good, which is sad. Please drop by and pick him up in your two-seat convertible that you have right now. Thanks. Bye. Angela Simon is leaving Tesla High School, crossing the border from the U.S. to Eleonoria and is coming to pick you up right this minute. Angela, are you angry at me? <laughs> angry doesn't begin to explain the damage goes to the school and not the neighboring one 1,000 feet from it. I can't believe you get suspended from school for creating a fake lockdown. Do you know that would have gotten you arrested and executed if you killed the judge? I'm sorry, Angela. It was also supposed to be a harmless prank. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Harmless, are you kidding? You terrorized the whole school, except for the neighboring one 1,000 feet away. They all thought there was a murderer at school. When we get to your house... I'll get Tom and May and then we'll watch the news to see what the damage is like right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you're definitely standing. But Angela. Today on WOGL, East Dravenberg Academy is in a panic after a student, usually attacking story with his chubby chickens falsely states a lockdown. On the other hand, East Dravenberg Academy is closed early while North Dravenberg Magnet Academy is still in session due to an orange fox with a purple top hat breaking into the office and exclaiming a fake lockdown. We now go live to Owen Trickshot St. Clair at East Dravenberg Academy. Trickshot? Thank you Parker and ZZ. Right now I am live inside the deserted hallway of East Dravenberg Academy with a few interviewers. The first is the principal of East Dravenberg Academy. Dr. Stella Momoboshi, would you like to share your story with us? Yeah, Dr. Leo broke straight into my office like a battering ram while I was vomiting in the bathroom and faked a lockdown, saying a serial killer broke into the school. And by the way, Dr. Leo, if you are watching this, I changed my the wind direction about your suspension. You are expelled from East Dravenberg Academy, banned from any activities taking place at North Dravenberg Magnet Academy, and will be given a restraining order from both schools 1,000 feet apart. If you step 300 to 500 feet to this school, including their athletic fields, you will be sent to prison and executed via lethal injection. Now we have Serena Murphy and Ryan Burrow, parents of a traumatized cat in Broncho. Now share your story to the viewers. Whoever you are Dr. Leo, your little prank gave my son and Ryan's son severe post-traumatic stress disorder and now they are both in a mental institution, in a padded room, in oxygen masks, straitjackets and neck braces and spinal boards. 
Both of them freaked out so much they both had compound femur stress fractures and are now paralyzed in stretcher pulse oxygen mask machines for a few weeks. They both now have frequent seizures and have approximately 35 physical and behavioral therapists now because of you. Serena and I just wanted you to know that you and your family, even Angela who took you home earlier, will be paying a $900,000 hospital bill. We've been contacting several hospitals in the low country of South Carolina, and Trident Medical Center in North Charleston seemed to work. Our family is so torn apart now. We always have fights and cry and give out a lot of punishments now. We will never be the same, and I mean N-E-V-E-R. That does it. Serena and I are both leaving right now. We now have a victim of the lockdown, Guy Yell Links. So Guy Yell, tell your story. So we were in Miss Akabana's class learning about AI, also known as artificial intelligence, and all of a sudden, the intercom went off and Dr. Leo faked a lockdown and I was so scared for my life. So Guy Yell, would you ever allow this type of behavior in your home or animal town where you usually belong? Absolutely not. Anyone who comes in and fakes a lockdown should be charged with mutiny. And I mean him, you, T, I, N, Y, mutiny. I'm coming, for you, Dr. Leto. Guy Yell, calm down, we can talk this over. No 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 no. We're sorry. The WOGL 98.1 Fathoms Philadelphia is having extreme but major technical difficulties. Not to worry, we will be back shortly, and Dr. Leo, you will be paying for the damages of the camera. Jeez Louise Dr. Leo, we all can't believe we have all these bills to pay, you are in so much trouble now. Oh 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 Dr. Leo. We cannot believe you created a fake lockdown. That does it. It's now time for your beating. Oh shit. You are indeed grounded for at least until Breeze Airways releases new routes and destinations. Go to your room now. God damn it son of a bitch piece of shit motherfucking asshole fuck fuck fuck. Yeah, and quit it with the sewer mouth. You are rare.